Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to NXT's Halloween Havoc. So we have got, uh, how, well, Halloween Havoc tonight. We have got a tables, ladders and scares match. We have an ambulance match. We have a normal tag team match. We have what is now a gauntlet match and we have a devil's playground match. So I'm actually looking forward to this show. I do enjoy, I did enjoy the last Halloween Havoc from last year so this is going to be entertaining so without further ado let us get to our first matchup of the night so in our opening contest we had tony d'angelo taking on oba femi in a tables ladders and scares match weren't that many scares in this match but this was a really fun opener i'm not gonna lie i really enjoyed it i thought it was really good uh, tables, ladders, chairs, uh, zip ties were used a little bit, but not by much. But yeah, this was just a good matchup. The family gets involved, uh, threatens to put, uh, uh, Femi threatens to attack the, the female part, uh, person of the team. I can't remember her name now for some stupid reason. So Tony D'Angelo just spears him through the ropes for a ladder. Guys, uh, used the finisher, then Tony D'Angelo picks him up and puts him through a ladder, uh, uh, Ladder, fucking table. There we go, Pete, you dumbass. Uh, to get the win for Tony D'Angelo. I feel like Tony D'Angelo's going to be... Mo uh, uh, Omar Fenny's probably going to be down to the main roster soon. He does look good. He looks impressive, I'm not going to lie. He's very good. And yeah, this was a fun matchup. So, we've got a... Cody Rhodes promo coming up for... Crown Jewel. I don't know why we've got a Crown Jewel promo with t t uh, Cody Rhodes just walking through the desert. One of them. So, yeah, um, it's all good. You know, a fun opener and, you know, sets the tone for tonight. So, let's not waste any more time and get to our next matchup. <coughs> so, we just had our tag team matchup of Cobra Jade and Roxanne Perez taking on Stephanie uh, Devire. Uh, yeah, uh, Stephanie Van Kerr and G-I-U-I-L-I-A uh, -I -I um, This was really fun like, This was a really good tag team matchup uh, This is my first time seeing Stephanie Van Kerr and G uh, G -L -L um, And I have to admit I am really impressed by them I thought the, these two put on A These two were great in a tag team And this was really fucking well done And Oh all right we've got okay we've got um okay okay this is interesting this is interesting we have another uh debut and oh there she is she's in the she's up on the stage uh with i can't think of her name now she's another one that uh was signed by uh, w, uh nxt the women's division in nxt i ain't gonna lie it's fucking stacked so um i will double check the name and then i'll get back to you so yes, we will get to our next matchup, but two matches in, it's been really good so far. Let's carry on, shall we? Okay, so we just had the ambulance match between Rich Holland and Adrian Chase. This was a fun matchup. This was really fun. Um, Rich, Hol uh, Rich Holloway wins after throwing Chase into the, the ambulance. There we go. But yeah, this was a fun matchup. It was entertaining. It was just, yeah, it was good. It was really good. Uh, that's not really been a bad match on the card yet, which is very intriguing. So we've got the gauntlet match now for the NXT Women's North American Championship. But I do want to talk about a few things that have happened in wrestling recently. Number one, um, Samantha Irwin's left WWE. Uh, look, was she a good win announcer? Yes. Did she want to do more? Yes, there possibly could have been more uh, opportunities for her if she, there were, but it's one of them. She was all right. She wasn't bad. She wasn't good. She, she was, she wasn't, you know, one of the best, but she was good. She was a really good win announcer, I thought, but she's immediately turning around and starting acting like a complete cow on social media. Yeah, it doesn't help, but there are people being dickheads as well, but... Just turn the fuck, turn it the fuck off. Don't, don't be a dick. You know it's one of those things. But then, 
Uh, my Motor City Machine Guns. I have followed these guys for 10 years and they win the WWE Tag Team Titles. Yes! <laughs> I am so happy. I have followed them since TNA. They won the belts. They beat the Bloodline. I am so happy. Yes! Oh, congratulations, Chris Saban and Arrow Shelley. Congratulations. So, we now, like I say, we have the Gauntlet of Match. So, let's not waste any more time and get to that Gauntlet of Match. So, we just had our semi-main event. It was uh, Kay, uh, Kellen Jordan taking on Fatal Influence. Uh, Jasmine Nitt, uh, JC J, uh, JC J, James, uh, J-A-Y-N-E, and Fallon Henley. Um... Yeah, this was really good. Understandably, it being gimmick match, it would be it was finished choice by the call. So it was going to be the tr it was going to be a free you know it was going to be a gauntlet match. This was fun. It was entertaining. All three you know all four women really did put on a good match. And uh oh, we had the black. Oh yeah, of course we've got uh, Zara making a double uh, entrance. Actually, she was a. Uh, after the tattoo match, it was uh, Zara again, and yeah, this is really good. Like going after the women's, the North American Women's Championship. Okay, I didn't see that happening. No, that'd be good. That's good. So yeah, her first fifth. Oh, she just appeared out of nowhere. The fuck? She's behind them. How the fuck did she? Oh, nice. Okay. I don't actually think she hit, but it's the first one. I don't think she hit. Uh, Janice was that headbutt actually I don't think she did but it was still a very interesting head it was still a damn good headbutt actually not about a five either so yeah it, it was a good gauntlet match now we get the feud we hope I hope I do hope uh, jo uh, Jordan gets a rematch for the North America uh, the women's North American Championship because she is older rematch being the former champion yeah, this was a really fun matchup. It was really good. It was a fun, entertaining matchup. And yeah, all four, you know, having two match, you know, having a tag team match and a women's title match on the line. Yeah, I really thought it was a good idea. Do I think the women's championship should be defended? Absolutely. But with the tag team matchup, it's kind of, you're going to have to do it that way a little bit. I do like, I don't like the fact that the women's title was not on the line, but on the same token, it is one of them things. It, it, it's tough. But now we have got Trick Williams versus Ethan Page in a spin the wheel, make the deal. Yes, that is an old WCW reference. Devil's Playground match for the NXT Championship. So let's get to our main event of the night. So we just had uh, Vic and Booker T talking about the main event. All of a sudden, um, Vi uh, Vicaria, uh, Vicaria's uh, friend comes out from being kidnapped, but kidnapped or butnapped, whatever you want to call it, and basically was like, I want a match. You've been in a fucking box for six days, love. Get some fucking medical attention. Turns around and just goes, let's make it more interesting. Spins wheel, lands on a casket match. We are going to have a casting match on Tuesday. What? <laughs> I mean, I, I, granted, Halloween is what? I, I, I think technically Wednesday for me. So, Thursday? Wednesday? Whenever it is. So, understandably, you know, you want to do something for Halloween, make it interesting, let's do it. Uh, Thursday. Thursday for me. Alright, cool. Let's do a casting match. Fuck it. Let's do it. So, Main event time, Tricky, Tricky Williams versus Ethan Page. So, it's uh, tat, uh, Tatsium uh, Payton. Uh, Paytats? 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 Give me two seconds. Uh, yeah, pay, uh, pay, uh, Patsley. Sorry, Patsley. What say, Peter? Uh, uh, Tatum Patsley uh, taking on Wendy Chu in that casket match. So, uh, just to confirm that. We just had Trick Williams versus Ethan Page in the Devil's Playground match. This it wasn't too bad. It wasn't a it wasn't a bad main event. It wasn't a good main event. It was okay. It was a good main event. Um, it was a, it was really intriguing. They used the steel steps. They used nuts and bolts, which I thought was a very interesting use of a weapon that we don't normally see. 
Um, they use chairs, they use the announce table, the re uh, doctors got involved after the trit was uh, popping up a little bit of blood. Again, it's an internal, you know, it's like, fuck, if, if it's internal, then shit, kind of thing. So I can, I understand the, the doctors coming in to be like, uh, are you actually okay, kind of thing. But, a trick wins with the trick shot, beautiful knee to the face, beautiful knee, gets the one, two, three, and retention. It's a fun matchup, it was really fun. I do believe that, you know, Ethan's now possibly, oh, Rich Holloway, there we go. Uh, Rich Holloway is coming out to attack Trick Williams, so Trick versus uh, Rich Holloway for the title? Could be a good feud, you know, could be an interesting feud. We got Ego uh, we got Ethan Page still being in the ring as well. But yeah, you know, Rich Holloway being involved in this feud as well, he's gonna take out Ethan Page as well, I think. Or they're gonna join together and possibly take him out. Could be interesting, Ethan Page and Rich Holloway as a tag team. Or in cahoots for a little bit. That could be interesting. Oh no, he's not about. He's not about to be. But yeah, you know, I do like Holloway. I do think there are some good points in which Holloway's uh, gym, uh, style. Going back to NXT has been a good call for him. I think personally, and you know, him going for the belt. I I actually like it. I think it's a really good choice. Oh, we've got Bubba Ray Dudley coming in. What the fuck? Okay, just Bubba Ray coming in. Um, Rich Holloway was, uh, did get into um, Rich Holloway's, uh, Rich Holloway got into Bubba's face during the pre-show and then before the main event. So Bubba Ray to get the uh, assistance for Trick. I, I don't mind that. We're going to have a, ta are we going to see Bubba Ray Dudley at ECW uh, in the 20, 2300 arena? Because... East NXT is going to the home of ECW on November 6th. So this could lead into a tag team match between Trick and Bubba taking on Rich Holloway and Ethan Page. That could be interesting, I'm not going to lie. That'd be very fun to see. But yeah, what did I think of this match and the show? You know, what did I think of the show overall in general? It was a very fun... It was a, it was a good show. It was a really fun show. I enjoyed it. I really did like this show. It was... It didn't feel like three hours, you know. This start for me. This started at uh, at eleven, and it's now half one. It didn't feel like three hours. It felt like maybe an hour and a half. But there was so much good stuff on there. Five matches, I think, is a perfect length for an NXT PLE. Five in a you know five matches for a PLE is I actually think a really good choice for me personally. And yeah, this show was really fun. It was entertaining. So with that being said, guys, I will catch you on Wednesday. We're probably going to be checking out maybe Halloween Havoc. Actually, yeah, we're going to check out a Halloween Havoc for the Howl's Eve special of the CWS. We've also got Crown Jewel coming up next Saturday, so I will definitely be reviewing that and uh, on the protest, but it will be done as a review. So with that being said, I will see you for the CWS on Wednesday and... The Crown Jewel review on Saturday. Also, if you haven't already, go and check out the Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash ATCOTN, where I am live Mondays uh, and Fridays, and every so every now and again I will be live Wednesdays. I do keep up with the uh, streaming dates as well. So if you haven't already, like I say, twitch.tv forward slash ATCOTN if you want to check me out. TTFN, that's all for now.